way Easterners approach melody is very round, much more fluid. Since my early age, when I was hearing sounds from the East, it really moves me. I grew up playing more modern music, and I also studied jazz and classical guitar in Amsterdam. I traveled to India. I did study singing and percussion. However, my goal was always to be able to emulate it on the guitar in an authentic way. Notes are for us stepping stones, but our music is in between the notes. That's what my teacher told me. For instance, you would have... You could hear that in both in Indian and in Chinese music, Classical traditions emphasize belief in higher wisdom. Artists in the old days, whether it's in China or India, they had to be people of very pure moral character. So they could be given this gift which can move people. When I moved to New York, one of the the biggest changes for me happened is when I got acquainted with you know, some practitioners of the ancient mind and body practice called Falun Dafa. I really liked that. I was never asked to do anything and it was very, uh, the intentions behind this are very pure. It made me realize the more my mind is clear, the more my heart is pure, the more powerful my music is. And that's the essence of that ancient culture and ancient art. I live in New York, which is one of these uh, very modern, fast-paced cities in the world. Everyone feels that they need a peace of mind. I think that some of that ancient wisdom brings a balance to one's life. What I like to put in my music is that sense of calm and peace.